Welcome to the Art of Adventure. This is 5-Minute Friday, and today this is for people that are trying to do something big and exciting in the world. And often I encounter entrepreneurs or, or even clients that are running up into fear when they try to do something big, when they've decided this is the direction that I want to go in, when they, when they commit to doing a project, and then all of a sudden fear sets in. And then fear is often either fear of success or fear of failure. But let's talk about fear. Let's let's talk about how to how to move through it because what a lot of, I hear people saying is I'm really trying to get past this fear. You know, I'm trying to be the the person or I'm trying to take on this new identity to make this work or whatever and they're in a stagnant place and they think, "Oh, if I could just use more willpower, if I could just be more motivated to go through this." But the the fear is real and what happens is they keep thinking about whatever it is, how things could go wrong or how they're not up to the task or whatever it is. And they get in a thought loop and where their thoughts are creates an, an emotion. It creates this yucky feeling like I'm not good enough. I'm not going to be able to do this, whatever. And because you get into these loops, you're focusing on one, re, re, you're focused on wiring your brain to worry and be anxious and be in fear. And that's creating negative emotions that go along with it. So Emotions are not meant to be carried and dwelled. They're meant to be experienced. They're meant to have the experience and feel it and then move through it. So when you have thought loops and emotion loops, then you dwell in that place of fear. And second, if you're if you're focusing on the fear, if you're focusing on what's not going to work, then you're not focusing on finding solutions. You're not focusing on actually making the thing happen that you want to happen. And, you know, this this is no different for me. You know, I, I get into fear just as much as anybody else. And sometimes I have to really trust in my own ability to actually make something happen. And that's hard, you know, that's that's uh, that takes bravery and courage. And courage, you know, courage doesn't happen when you know all the answers, when you know you're completely capable, when it's something super easy for you. The practice of courage and the practice of bravery happens when you are scared, when you're in fear, when you're not convinced of your abilities yet. But most of us, we're operating from a place where we look back at our past, right? I, This is something I haven't ever done before. This is a really big challenge. This is something totally new that I want to put out into the world, this art, this project, this business, whatever it is. It's something totally new. And because we've never done that, we think, oh, I'm not the type of person that, that can do this. But as soon as you do it, then you are the type of person to do that. So you have to work ahead. You have to work from the place of the person who has already done that, right? So let's let's take running a marathon, for example. If you've never run a marathon, you have no idea what it's like. You don't know if you can do it. Then you do it, and then you're the type of person that can do it. And the next, you know, the next challenge you've never done, and then you do it, and, and it's – so it's this it's this continuous practice of – growing into the person that you're going to be. But when you start, if you're operating from what you were able to do in the past, then that's going to hold you back. So you need to operate from who you will be in the future because think back to where you were 10 years ago. Think of all the things that you've learned and all the skills and ways that you've improved and your ways of thinking and just how many more abilities and how many more things you can do in life now than you could 10 years ago. So, so imagine, you know, your future self and all the amazing things that you'll be able to do then, right? So work from that place of your future self who has all these, you know, better skills, better at managing their thoughts, better time management, whatever it is that they have that you need to be able to do this big thing. So if it's fear of success that we're talking about, then that serves a purpose. Actually, fear serves a purpose. You know, it keeps us safe. Our brain is wired to keep us safe. And so first you can, you can just, you know, thank your brain for trying to keep your safe. And then again, you can turn your attention elsewhere so that you don't have to be focusing on the, the fear itself. I think probably a lot of us get into fear because we haven't fully assessed whether the risk is worth it. And that's, that's something you can actually just do. You can, you can write down, you know, what is the best possible outcome? Is this truly what I want to be doing with my time? Is it, is it really what I want to create in the world? Is it in alignment with my values? Is it in alignment with, you know, what I feel 
I want my life to look like. And, you know, so, so determining like what is, what is the fullest realization of the possibility, the goodness. And then what, you know, what is the worst that could happen? Is it that someone could judge you? Is it that you could lose money or you could spend six months and, and not really have much to show for it? You know, is that risk worth that gain? And are there ways you can mitigate the risk? Like if you fail, could you try again? Or if you got into something, could you reverse that? Could you get out of it? So then now you get into problem solving mode and try to mitigate the actual downside while maintaining the upside of, of whatever it is that you're going after. All right, hopefully that was helpful because what I want for you is to keep going, to get your your business, your creative products, your art out into the world. I don't want to see you trapped in fear. So stop thinking, stop worrying, trust yourself, know that you will be able to acquire the skills and navigate the relationships and the judgment and all that stuff. The universe won't give you anything that you can't handle. So say thank you to the fear and then get rid of it, dismiss it, turn your attention towards the actual thing that you really want to be doing. All right, that's all for today. Now go out there and be adventurous.